How's it going YouTube? This is Wake Run Collapse and welcome to box number 1 out of 20 of the brand new Japanese set X and Y 10, Awakening of the Psychic King. If you are as excited, if you are half as excited as I am to be opening up the Japanese version of Fates Collide right here and right now, make sure you go down below and hit the like button to show your support. I would really, really like to hit a huge like goal on this video. And hopefully there are some magnificent pulls to back it up. Oh, I'm so excited. So as you can see, of course, first edition, as these were pre-ordered from Amiyami. Got the Zygarde, I think that's 10% form on the side, as well as Moltres. And there's a Lucario and a Snivy on the side. I've watched very few Japanese box openings to this. Maybe only one or two. Usually I'm just watching them as much as humanly possible, but... These boxes are here a little bit faster than I had anticipated, and I really didn't get an opportunity to check them out too, too much. But oh man, there's Alakazam EX, Mega Alakazam EX, EX is for Umbreon and Glaceon and Altaria, Mega Altaria, Genesect, Kingdra. There's break cards for Delphox, for Omastar. There's a break card for Lugia, break card for Bronzong, and oh, I cannot wait to see. That beautiful full art goodness. 20 packs in this box, 5 cards per pack, and just immense opportunities abounding. I'm so excited guys, let's get into this. Forgive me if I'm not terribly good with the trainers in here. I f did a fairly good job, I think, of learning how they, uh, how they operated. But if I miss a name of an attack here or there, please don't attack me for it. <laughs> so you get to see this is one of the leaflets that they have in here. I'm not going to be showing them all in depth, just want to show you that those are there. They could have between like five and eight different cards on here. And wow, it's a trainer right off the bat. This, I believe, is Mega Catcher. Uh, this allows you to catch her up one of the opponent's Mega Pokemon EX from the bench into the active spot. So that's pretty cool. Uh, here we have a Wismer, Pupitar, uh, that to me looks like a Dome Fossil for Kabuto. Oh my god! The firstiest of the first pack magic, first box, first pack, holy cow, Altaria EX Full Art. You cannot make this stuff up, guys. If you, for some reason, neglected to hit the like button when I first implored you to, please, please do it now. Oh, that's unbelievable. I don't think this has ever happened on a case opening of mine. In the very first pack? That is incredible. Look at that luster. Look at that shine. Oh, my goodness. Let's get a quick zoom in on there. 86 out of 78 secret rare. That is how you start a booster case, and we still have 399 packs to go. Unbelievable. So we're going to sleeve it up in a KMC sleeve like I always do. Uh, so this Altaria EX packs a uh, powerful Gale, which does 30 damage, and if Altaria has been healed in this current turn, uh, it does an extra 60 damage and heals another 30 from Altaria. It also has Shining Winds, which you can see does 80 damage, uh, which you can't see because if you can't read Japanese like I also cannot, uh, the next turn Altaria has no weakness. This is unreal, guys. This is unreal. Wow. I don't really know what else to say. I'm starstruck by this card. I feel so fortunate, so blessed. In the first pack... In the first pack, the first box should always be good out of a case, out of one of these big openings, but I don't know that I ever expected it to be that good. Okay, let's try to settle ourselves. We have a Motham, a Barbarical. This is actually really cool looking. Shuckle, which I'm so happy that Shuckle is in this set. One of my all-time favorites for sure. Uh, there's a Loudred. Looks like he had his coffee this morning. And a Reuniclus. Now, if you haven't seen already for Reuniclus, uh, the Solosis Duosian Reuniclus line has a very interesting set of attacks. 
Like the Solosis attack does 10, and if there's a Solosis on the bench, it does an extra 30. And then Reuniclus does the same, but it does an extra 60. Uh, sorry, uh, Duotion does it if there's another uh, Duotion on the bench. And then the same thing for Reuniclus, but it does an extra 90 if there's another Reuniclus on the bench. It's just wild. Speaking of wild, look at this twisty, twisted spoon. Uh, when you attach this card to a Pokemon, uh, it's immune to status effects, which I think is pretty awesome. Uh, there's one of the three different Wormadams I think you'll see out of these. No, I don't know the difference between the cloaks. I'm sure you guys do. Uh, that's actually a really nice looking Larvitar. Very scenic. Uh, there's Sinchino right there. And a Delphox. And that is holographic. Could not tell right away because I have changed my lighting, but... Might not be quite as lustrous as before, but... I think it gives a great overall setting, the softbox does. Very, very nice. You know what? I think I'm actually going to bring that light over here. Just for the heck of it. Oh, yeah. The old standby. Let us continue on. I apologize, guys, if you are unimpressed with my speed in the first booster box, but I like to take my time the first time through this set. And with every set, to be honest. Uh, this one is Energy Pouch. Energy Pouch, if... Uh, the Pokemon that this card is attached to gets knocked out from one of your opponent's attacks. Uh, all the energy that's attached to that Pokemon, instead of you throwing it in the discard pile, goes back into your hand. So that could be helpful. Uh, there's a Servine. Really like the dark sky in the background there. Uh, there's a Vullaby. A Snorlax. Oh, that's so funny. And a Dugong, and that is a beautiful card. Wow. They've really upped their game. Seems like every set they have some new stuff that's really impressive, but wow. I've not spent a whole lot of time with the scans this time around. Uh, there's an Aerodactyl. Very nice. A Coughing. Jigglypuff. With a couple of buddies in the background, too. Uh, there's a Snivy. And a Moltres, and that is an uncommon. An uncommon card. That is wild. Non-holographic legendary bird. I know they've done it before, but it still shocks me when that happens. Uh, there's another uncommon legendary in Rotom. Uh, Ryolu, right there. Uh, there's a Solosis. Uh, that looks like Old Amber Aerodactyl. Uh, these fossil items all work the same way. Uh, you search the bottom seven cards of your deck. And if you find the appropriate fossil Pokemon, like the basic version, then you play it right onto the bench. And a white Kyurem Hollow. Very nice. Yeah, this, this Hollow pattern does seem a bit different. It seems interesting. It might just be the lighting. Because there's so much brightness that you can now see in the background and see everything, but this is a great looking card. You guys are pretty much in universal agreement on that, I'm sure. Very nice. Oh, we've still got EXs to pull. We've still got a break card to pull out of this box. Can't wait to see what else is in there. Here we have a Kabutops, which is a monster if it gets going. 150 HP, and with all the buffs... Why aren't you focusing? With all the buffs that are available to, uh, to Fighting-type Pokemon, this attack that does 50 plus, you know, however much else you do to it, uh, and then heals the same amount from Kabutops. This thing can hang around for a while. Uh, there's a cute little seal. Another Wormadam. Uh, Minchino. And the Team Rocket's Handiwork. Nifty little trainer that also has a full art. Uh, if, you, uh, if you play that card, then you flip two coins. And for each heads, you get to discard two cards from the top of your opponent's deck. There's your Altaria Spirit Link right there. Uh, there's a Fennekin, again, playing with a buddy. Uh, there's your Helix Fossil. Uh, there's Burmy. And nice! How appropriate! It's the Altaria EX. That is awesome artwork right there, for sure. Sleeve that right up, give you guys a nice good look at that. 
see it from every angle, see the high quality of Japanese cards. If you've not experienced it before, man, you gotta get yourself a booster box of this set. Nice little companions right there, I gotta say. I'm gonna set that to the back. Wow, we are at 10 minutes already. I don't care if this video goes 20 minutes. I really don't. They're gonna be much faster in the future, guys. Don't worry. Here we have a Bronzong. Uh, there's Duosion. A Carbink. Oh, sneaky. Uh, there's the uh, the third Wormadam. And whoa! Our first break, I was not expecting that at all. This is Del Fox break. It's a fair bit darker than I thought this card was going to be, but still looks really, really nice. Uh, it has an attack, well, not an attack, an ability called uh, Flare Witch. Uh, let you search your deck once per turn for fire energy and attach to one of your Pokemon. And if you are curious, yes, it is a double rare like all the other break cards in Japanese are. So you get your hollows that are rares, you get your EXs and Mega EXs and break cards that are double rares. The full arts are secret rares, and the gold border whatever it is in the set. This one has a gold border Alakazam. That one is an ultra rare. In case you get confused by the uh, the naming sequence for rarity for cards in Japanese, that's how it goes. Here we have an Omastar. Can't wait to pull the Omastar break. Uh, Mandibuzz. Wismer. Grumpig. Very cool. And the Devolution Spray. Yes, that is getting a reprint. Should be pretty interesting to see that used with Alakazam EX and Mega Alakazam EX. Could crank out some real damage with that. Alright, this has got to be Fossil Excavation Kit. I'll let you search your deck for up to two of the item fossils, like the, the Helix Fossil and the Dome and the Old Amber, and put them into your hand, so then you can play them from there. Uh, there's a Binnacle. Uh, there's your Helix Fossil. Not Helix Fossil, Dome Fossil, I'm sorry. Uh, Bronzor. And Lucario Holographic Card. I know there's a few people out there that are going to be excited to see this card. Very colorful, great pose as well. Awesome stuff. Yes, guys, I am currently shooting this. It is after 10 o'clock at night. Coming home from work to this box so early is great. And there is the two-sided trainer card of this set, Chaos Town. Uh, blue side prevents you from being poisoned and confused, and red side, I think, prevents you from being asleep and paralyzed. Could have it backwards, but I think I got it right. Uh, there's Brakeson, Kabuto, Snivy, and Wigglytuff. That's a cute looking card. Happy to get that one. More good stuff to have. Speaking of which, they reprinted N as well. I think that's pretty cool. Another Loudred. There's our first Ammonite. Another Coughing. And there's your Zygarde 10%. He's got like a buttload of forms, doesn't he? But that one is a non-holographic version. Uh, there is also a Hollow in the set, which I think is 50% form. And then he's got an EX in his own respective deck. So here we have Exploud. Another Carbink. Shuckle. Uh, Sinchino. And hey, there's a Zygarde Hollow we were talking about. That's 50% form, right? Or something like that? It's a fine looking card. Still more good stuff to pull. Hoping for a Mega. It would be really funny if it was Altaria. Uh, there's another Twisted Spoon. I think we can start going a little faster on these. Larvitar. Spoink. Cool. Snorlax. And another Moltres. So you are starting to see mostly duplicates in these packs. Now we have a Mothin. Servine. Seal. Pupitar. Wow. That is a gorgeous Lugia Hollow. Look at that incredible artwork. Whoever came up with the design of this. What was that? Tokia? I'm not good with, um with artists in the TCG. I probably should be, but I'm not. I know some of you out there are great with it, but very impressive with this card. 
I get the feeling Lugia and Mew are probably going to be my most popular holographic cards. I have to keep that in mind when the seal video comes up. Hopefully I get a lot. Here's your Alakazam Spirit Link right there. There's a Weezing. I don't think I've seen one of those yet. Uh, Fennekin. Another Wormadam. <laughs> hey, cheeky little box, aren't you? Mega. Altaria. EX. Are you guys noticing a theme here? Would you maybe say that I'm on cloud nine after all these pulls? Mist Purge does 100 damage. Uh, and I think if you have a special energy attached, it does another 30. And you heal 30 from Mega Altaria EX as well. So that's pretty cool. Awesome artwork, of course. Wow, what a funny box. <laughs> I'm getting a real laugh out of this, guys. I hope you're enjoying it, too. I really do. And I hope that you guys will drop a comment down below and let me know what your favorite card is from this expansion. I'd like you to not spoil polls, but I can't guarantee that that's going to happen. So I ask, but I will not start deleting comments, I guess, unless they're, you know, blatant. Uh, Devolution Spray, Solosis, Riolu, uh, Barbarical, and Superior. That's our first Superior. This box is finally winding down to the end, but what a ride it has been. There's another Reuniclus, uh, Burmy, Wormadam, Wismer, and Tyranitar. Another awesome looking holo from this set. I hear it's about as unplayable as it gets, requiring 5 darkness energy for its attack, but it's still pretty awesome looking, and as a collector, I am pretty proud to have this in my collection right now. Oh, and just like that, I say just like that, like this hasn't been a 17 minute opening, but just like that, our final box is coming to an end. The final pack, it's going to be... Dugong, Jigglypuff, Vullaby, another Wormadam, and another Mega Catcher to finish things off. I think that might have been card number one and card number 100 of this opening. But my goodness, I'm so proud of the way this first box went. If you are as happy as I am about this, make sure you go down, hit the thumbs up button. I can't say it enough, it means a ton that you guys are coming out and supporting so awesomely. Holographic pulls in this part were Delphox, White Curum, Lucario, Zygarde, Tyranitar, and Lugia. That's a pretty amazing crew right there, I gotta say. Lone break card was Delphox break. We also got Altaria EX, Mega Altaria EX, and Altaria EX in beautiful shimmering full art. Thank you so, so much for watching, guys. Make sure you're subscribed so that you can continue to see amazing X and Y 10 openings as they happen. So I got 19 more boxes to crack open and more full arts to pull, and I'm just chasing that complete set. So I hope you'll join me as I do that. Thank you for watching. Hit that like button, and I will see you guys soon with another video.